you know, such a neat history and being a McMinn County native, it, the historic time even more meaningful to me. Sadly, though, I didn't learn about Feb Byrne and her 19th Amendment nudge until a couple of years ago when I first met her great granddaughters. And on this 100th anniversary, they're turning to the family business to celebrate the 19th Amendment and the mother who saved suffrage. At Crescent Saw Company in Nyota, Tennessee. My sisters and I are the fourth generation. Comfort isn't just a way of life, it's the town livelihood. Their great grandfather, James, Feb Burns' husband, opened the text mill in 1902, naming it after the Crescent Rail Line from Nyota to New Orleans. And I think they started with $1,200. We've been here 118 years come September. Today, the sisters don't just work for the family business, they run it. Kathy Allen is CEO, and Sandra Boyd is vice president. And they have their great-grandmother, Feb, to thank. She was so inspirational. In a letter, Feb successfully convinced her son, Tennessee State Representative Harry Byrne, to hurray and vote for suffrage in 1920. Now, 100 years later, they've rolled out a new line of world's softest socks called Feb's Boutique to honor her. The signature sock is sewn with the suffragist symbol, the yellow rose, along with the message, create your path, leave your footprint. We just wanted to do something to inspire other women. And it's a really neat uh, line. It's floral, bright colors, uh, crew socks made for women. Little girls with dreams become women with a vision. And all of the socks have a message on the soul. Be who you are, not who the world wants you to be. Crescent is donating a portion of Feb Boutique's proceeds to Awake, a Nashville nonprofit that advocates for women's and kids' equality. Something that's helping women and children really meant a lot to us, and we felt like Feb would be very proud of that. A crew sock with empowerment style, made possible by a strong woman a century ago. I would just call her a good, solid woman. Well, yes, she was. Feb Byrne never worked for the Crescent Sock Company, but she ran the farm and was a college graduate. You can find the socks at boutiques across the country or online, and we do have a link at WBIR.com.